now the latest across the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for September 15th. And what we have going around the wide world of tropics today is Fiona in the central Atlantic moving towards the Lesser Antilles. 13E now designated in the East Pacific. Mwifa and Maribach now both post-tropical in the Northern Pacific. And Nemedal, now a major typhoon, get ready to impact the Ryukyu and Japanese islands. 46 storms so far this year, our average over the last 50 being 92. Now taking a tour around the basins where it is day 108 in the Atlantic hurricane season and we do have a tropical storm Fiona out in the main development region. Get ready to go through the Lesser Antilles here in the next couple days. Uh, National Hurricane Center initializing a new area of interest off the coast of Africa during production phase of this update. That is why it is not on our map at this time. However, National Hurricane Center do have that area of interest at 20% over the next five days. We'll be able to see that area of interest once we get over into the satellite views later on. Getting over into the Eastern Pacific where it is day 123 of the hurricane season in that basin. And we do have two systems ongoing. We have recently designated 13E. Uh, now a tropical depression just south of the Gulf of Tuonapec. And the National Hurricane Center keeping an eye on another area of interest off the coast of the Jalisco State of Mexico. National Hurricane Center giving that one an 80% chance to form over the next five days. We'll have to see what that one does as this area has been a particular hotspot for a lot of storms this year, specifically right along the coast of Mexico. Jumping across basins over to the West Pacific, where we have three storms currently active. We have Muifa, which is up off the coast of China, now a post-tropical system. Merbach, all the way up by the Aleutians, that one's also an extra-tropical system. And Namadol, which has been rapidly intensifying most of the today. Uh, Force 13 Estimates has it as a major typhoon as a Category 3. This uh, becoming the next major threat for the Daito, Amami, and up into Kyushu over the next few days. This area has been getting hammered pretty heavily over the next couple weeks. Getting over the North Indian Ocean, uh, not much going on here. It is all quiet in this basin at this time. Getting into our individual storm focuses as we look at Fiona at 60 miles per hour, pressure of 1,006 millibars. And taking a look at the forecast that we have going on, we will see Fiona start moving towards the Lesser Antilles, impacting Guadeloupe, Antigua, Barbuda, up towards the Virgin Islands, probably over the next two to three days. It will go through those. It will stay south of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. And then it will start making a turn towards the northwest, maybe impacting southwestern to Puerto Rico, up into the eastern part of the Dominican Republic, or towards the Kirks and Caicos. Getting over towards 13E, it is at 35 miles per hour, pressure of 1,007 millibars, just sitting just south of the Gulf of Tuonapec, and the National Hurricane Center thinking this is going to be a very short-lived system. Might become a tropical storm briefly, and then will make landfall in the state of Jalisco, not lasting too long. Now getting over into the West Pacific, we do have Typhoon Nanodal at 120 miles per hour, pressure of 948 millibars. This is going to be a significant typhoon, may impact the Daido Islands, which got impacted by Hinamore a couple weeks ago up into the Amami Islands, may become a very significant typhoon, and it's going to make a northeast turn through Kyushu. Getting into our satellite images, you can see Fiona there in the center of the screen by the Antilles, and off the far right is that new area of interest that the National Hurricane Center has initialized. Again, that area of interest right now at 20% over the next five days. Getting over to East Pacific, you can see 13E there on the right, just south of Mexico, and the area of interest to the northwest. Again, National Hurricane Center has that one at 80% over the next five days. Hopping across the basins into the West Pacific, we do have Namadol right in the main part of the screen there. You can see that beautiful typhoon with the eye maybe trying to come out. You can see Muif up there up off the east coast of China and Maribach moving its way up through the Aleutian Islands and up into the Bering Sea. Both of those storms, Muifa and Maribach, both post-tropical. 
take a look around the north indian ocean some monsoonal moisture through there you can see how much winter is in that area so we're not anticipating anything to be going through that area anytime soon then take a look down at the southwest indian ocean where it is pretty quiet madagascar mauritius reunion enjoying pretty clear skies but you can see some convection there down around the intertropical conversion zone of the southern hemisphere Getting over into the Australian region, we could see a pretty significant front that has moved through the Queensland and New South Wales region, bringing some stormy conditions to that area. However, that is not tropical in nature, so we're not anticipating anything significant out of that particular feature. And then getting over into the South Pacific, pretty quiet across this basin as well. You can see Tonga, Fiji, Vanuatu. Mostly cirrus clouds to this area. You can see a few uh, subtropical, well, post-tropical storms in the southern part of the screen, but those are down probably around the mid-40, mid-50 southern latitude, so nothing too significant in this area either. Getting into the models, and it looks like the uh, program I was using, not initializing the distances and resolution correctly, but you can see Fiona in the center of the screen there, going up through Puerto Rico, into the Hispaniola region, bringing some significant rain and conditions through that area, out through the Turks and Caicos, and might impact the Bahamas over the next five to seven days. So we'll have to see if that does come to fruition. Getting into the East Pacific models, you can see 13E turning away there just south of Mexico. Does become a pretty significant tropical storm, does go into Mexico. And then it looks like the GFS wanting to develop that next system, that third, that uh, area of interest into a significant system, maybe a possible tropical storm, maybe hurricane impacting the uh, Cabo San Lucas area with some heavy rain off of the Baja California area. And jumping over to the West Pacific models, you can see Mwifa there off the coast of China. Marabak moving off towards the northeast into the Aleutians and up through the Bering Sea. And Namadal becoming a significant typhoon through the Daito and Miyakojiba area. Looks like the GFS hinting at a hard right turn towards the northeast as it does get into the Kyushu area. Maybe going through mainland Kyushu and into central Honshu over the next five to seven days. Looks like after Namadal goes through, nothing else on the radar in the West Pacific. Getting into our naming list now, now that we have Fiona, the na next two names on the Atlantic naming list is Gaston and Hermine. In the East Pacific, it is Lester and Madeline. Center for Pacific, we are still looking for the elusive Hone to come on the radar. Getting into the West Pacific, we have Talus and Noru being the next two names on the list. And in the North Indian Ocean, we have Satrang and Mandus. Getting into our Southern Hemisphere naming list, when it does start in this area, the first two names are Ashley and Balita. In the Australian region, we have Darien and Ellie. In the South Pacific, we have Halle and Irene. And when the next storm enters the Philippine area of responsibility, the next two names are Josie and Cardi. Thank you for watching tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.